When I'm designing anything, um, the first step obviously is to read the script and then letting that sit and let the process happen. While I'm reading it, sometimes I'll get flashes in the mind's eye about what, what this world is like, but it's usually after I've read it and let it percolate for a while and then I will start to get okay this is how I'm seeing this and sometimes I'm seeing more color and sometimes I'm seeing more of the in scenery the shape of the ground plan the path of action with costumes it might be a, a character or two that that is that are very vivid and some of them are remain mysterious for a while uh, I've never seen a production of the mousetrap before or worked on an Agatha Christie murder mystery I watched a lot of Miss Marple, Hercule Poirot, so I dug into the, those, there's a lot of resources out there for those uh, films. So it was fun to sort of dig into that world and then sort of take from that what I, okay, what is the Agatha Christie world and what do we want to say about this piece? We wanted this to have a sense of fun and intrigue and eccentricity and that's what we really went for with all the choices in the show. Um, from the choices of the wallpaper to the choices of the red fox coat for Mrs. Boyle. You know, in the murder mystery, we you want to balance, you know, you don't want to give away certain things. So you have to be careful in the choices that you're making so we're not identifying the murderer right off the bat. You really want that sense of mystery to be there. Everybody has to be a suspect. Um, so that's that was sort of a challenge within the, the design of the show as well.